Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Trump just unleashed hell on man who came after him last night. Use all means possible. The violent threats against President Trump and his family are really ratcheting up this week. U.S. Marshals are now searching for a central Pennsylvania man accused of threatening President Trump and other officials. He's at large and considered armed and dangerous. This came out last night and the president is ordering that all means possible be used to apprehend this guy. The suspect is 26-year-old Sean Christie of McAdoo, Pennsylvania. Christie posted a social media post threatening to put a bullet in the head of President Trump. That's about as serious a threat as you can make and is against the law of course. You can bet the police, U.S. Marshals, and the FBI are looking everywhere for this guy and his freedom will shortly come to an end. The post has since been deleted. Too late. The Internet is forever and so are death threats against the President of the United States. One of his threats read, Keep it up Morgan Nethley, I promise I'll put a bullet in your head as soon as I put one in the head of President Donald J. Trump. Remember where you came from punk. Christie also posted threats against Northampton County District Attorney John Morgan Nethley. It also isn't the first time this creep has been in trouble for making threats. Christie made headlines in 2010 after Sarah Palin, who was then Governor of Alaska filed for a restraining order against him. Both Christie and his father were sentenced to probation in 2012 for making hundreds of threatening phone calls to former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin and her attorney. Palin claimed that Sean Christie harassed her and a friend. He also pleaded guilty to harassing Palin's attorneys by telephone in 2011 and was sentenced to probation. He later served two years in federal prison for violating his probation by leaving a halfway house. In 2015, Christie pleaded guilty to two summary counts of harassment at McCann School of Business for harassing a teacher and administrator. The list is long on this guy. Police raided his parents' home in McAdoo early Wednesday morning. He was not there. U.S. Marshals executed a warrant at Christie's home with assistance from the U.S. Secret Service, FBI, State Police, McAdoo and Klein TWP. Police, the Schuylkill County District Attorney's Office and the Northampton County Sheriff's Office. He is wanted for making threats against the President of the United States and other government officials via social media, Clark said. Christie also threatened to shoot any law enforcement officer who attempts to arrest him, Supervisor Clark said. We were scared. We don't know what's going on. The Army's out here and no one will tell us what's happening, Gloria Brogan said. Christie has also made threats to the police, so he's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Wonder if he's part of Antifa or Occupy Wall Street? Both of those radical groups have threatened ICE officers and their families in the last few days. And Democratic Socialists of America harassed DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. One of the ones attacking Nielsen was Alison Hurabar, who just happens to work for the DOJ. Peter Fonda also threatened Barron Trump, Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Nielsen yesterday. It's a smorgasbord of hate. Christie's parents say he is not dangerous. I wouldn't find him as a threat right now, he's just angry. He's angry at the whole situation, said his father Craig Christie. Yeah, that's the same guy who was sentenced with his son in 2012. Not exactly a credible voice here. In 2017, Sean Christie was charged with aggravated assault for allegedly swinging a stick at former McAdoo Mayor Stefan Holly. I understand where he's coming from because he's been through so much hell the past 10 years and he has not seen any justice, said his mother Karen Christie. Gee, the whole family is comprised of radical, leftist nuts. I don't think their defense of their son here means much. He's obviously a violent whack job who is a threat to the president, the DA and the police. Sean, please turn yourself in, Christie's father pleaded. From Trib Live One of the first posts came in late May, when Sean Christie appealed to Trump on his Facebook page, asking him for help with his legal problems in Northampton and Schuylkill counties. Here's the deal, Trump, he wrote in the post. Tell your probation dogs in Northampton County to get off my A, while you're at it have my case there vacated. I'll have you impeached by August, wanna bet? The morning call of Allentown reported that Sean Christie pleaded guilty in April to making terroristic threats to a Berkheimer tax collection clerk in Bangor, Northampton County. In that case, he was sentenced to 12 months probation and ordered to attend anger management classes. In a June 3 post, he wrote, As far as your threat of a bench warrant, know this. I will use full lethal force on any law enforcement officer that attempts to detain me. With the recent threats and the language and the volume and everything that he's saying, it's just something that we're not going to take a chance with not taking it seriously," said Deputy U.S. Marshal Robert Clark. Exactly. 
The U.S. Marshals believe Christie may be hiding in the woods in the area. They're looking for him, but are asking for the public's help in finding him. Police say if you see Christie to please call 911 or the U.S. Marshals at 484-358-1974. There's also a $5,000 reward on the guy's head. These threats should be taken seriously. The search for Sean Christie began at about 5 a.m. Wednesday, according to Robert Clark, a supervisor with the Marshal Service's Fugitive Task Force. He is believed to be a clear and present danger to the immediate law enforcement community, Clark said. They need to catch this guy before he hurts or kills someone. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.